Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's going to be a new product try on. I recently did a poll question on my social media asking whether you guys prefer English or Mandarin, and most of you actually voted for English. So here we are today. Um, for today's video, I do have quite a lot of products to try out. They are mainly mostly from the drugstore brand, and also at the same time, I do have some new makeup brushes which I'm really very excited to try them out. So without further ado, let's just get right into the makeup. Okay, so my fringe is now nicely clipped back and I already prepped and primed my face. So first of all, I'm just going to start off with the foundation. So for foundation today, I'll be using this um, Bonjour Always Fabulous Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 110 Light Vanilla. Um, I'm assuming this is newly launched. I actually got this from Watson's. So I was just casually browsing in there and then I happened to saw this. As usual, they don't have testers to try the shades out. So I just kind of randomly grabbed the color which I think should be quite okay for my skin tone. Okay, so before we start applying the foundation, first of all, I'm just going to introduce some of the makeup brushes that I've got recently. So first of all, I have this um, makeup brush set over here in a very nice um, cardboard kind of a cylinder packaging. I actually got this from, I think it was Shopee if I'm not wrong. Um, the entire set is actually quite affordable. I think it was just less than $20. So this is how the brush set looks like in this very nice um, grayish blue color um, kind of design which I really like. I know you guys are probably quite sick and tired of hearing this um, but this is the Perfect Diary newly launched uh, makeup brush set. Uh, it's actually a 7 piece brush set so comparing to the previous one that I got from their brand um, it's actually much lesser. So this is the packaging of the brush holder and inside this is how the makeup brushes looks like very very pretty um, so they actually have a powder brush a highlight brush a blusher brush and also some of the eyeshadow brushes and most important is the design and color of the makeup brush itself is really very pretty um, this is also what actually it prompts me to get this set in the first place so if you look closely they actually have this uh, star glitters embossed into the handle of the makeup brushes which is really really cute and very nice and uh, girly kind of pink so if you're a fan of perfect diary like me myself um, I think this brush is actually quite worth to get especially if you are just beginning to uh, start playing with makeup I think this is quite a nice basic makeup brush set um, but it's quite sad that they don't have a foundation brush so for today's um, foundation I'm going to be using the foundation brush from this um, from this set that I got from Shopee. So here's a closer look at the makeup brush. The bristles are actually all made of synthetic fibers and then the design of the handle is like a tapered shape. So I'm going to just apply the foundation using the brush. Oh okay so this is the foundation um, design it comes with a pump head. Oh okay so they do have a locking mechanism uh, on the pump head which is quite rarely seen in um, drugstore foundation. So far, the only foundation that I've seen with a um, locking mechanism is probably from MAC. Okay, so you just turn the other way. There's actually an arrow indicator on the top. I do hope that this is my shade. Okay, so this is how the foundation looks like. Oh, it does have some kind of a light fragrance kind of smell. So I'm probably going to do half the face first for you guys to see the coverage and the shade of the foundation. So far, it's actually blending quite well into my skin. However, I do feel that the coverage-wise is probably not full coverage as it indicated on the bottle. I'm also not sure is it because I'm using a foundation brush like this. Um, but so far, I don't feel that the foundation is a full coverage foundation. In fact, the texture of the foundation is actually quite sheer, which I think is probably not good news for me, uh, especially when I have a lot of acne marks and scars and dark circles to cover. Okay, so this is one thin sheer layer of the foundation. Well, this is off to a bad start. Um, so far, I don't see any kind of coverage at all, uh, especially for my this 
any marks and my dark eye circles and uh, actually I'm not sure is it because the um, foundation brush has absorbed most of the foundation but I don't feel anything at all it doesn't cover my marks and scarring all this quite well um, it's as if I didn't apply anything at all okay um, this is really not looking good probably I'm just going to use back my regular um, flat foundation brush from Innisfree and then I'll probably just uh, blend out with a beauty sponge Hey, this is what I'm really talking about from the mirror I can see the difference between the two sides uh, I'm not sure whether you guys can tell from the screen but um, once I use a beauty sponge to blend out I can feel that the coverage is instantly there somehow it's actually looking better than my left side uh, so far I really do quite like the shade I think it's actually matching my skin tone quite well and then over at this side, it's actually done using just the foundation brush uh, from this particular makeup brush set. I'm not sure whether you guys can tell the difference. Okay, I think I'm probably going to even out the left side as well. So I'm just going to go in with a second layer and then blend out with the beauty sponge. It says it's a 24 hours extreme resistant uh, long wearing which I'm not too sure about that um, I'll probably have to test this foundation out for the whole day before I can give my um, review on whether is it long lasting okay so the foundation is now done and completed um, so far after applying the second layer I do feel a bit more balanced right now and the whole um, face is actually looking much more even okay so next moving on to concealer for concealer, it's actually quite pretty exciting as well. I do have quite a few options over here to choose from. So first of all, um, this is the Tarte Ship Tape Concealer. And I got this in the shade um, 20B Light. So this is the packaging, which I'm pretty sure most of you should be quite familiar with it. And then I got the Pat McGrath uh, Concealer as well. Um, actually, I have no intention of getting their concealer but the beauty advisor was telling me that they do have a sale and discount on this one so I was thinking like okay so maybe I should just you know for a start give their concealer a try so this is their Skin Fetish uh, Sublime Perfection Concealer in the shade 1.5 so this is how their concealer looks like in a very normal glass um, tube kind of design and next from the drugstore brand, um, I do have the Catrice Camouflage Cream Concealer in the shade 015 Fair and also at the same time, uh, this particular concealer which I'm really really excited to try it out is the JX Professional Triple Concealer I have been wanting to try them out for the longest time um, I first saw Pony using it in all her video tutorials If you guys don't know who is Pony um, She is actually Korea top most uh, wanted makeup artist or rather YouTuber and influencer So she is a fan of this uh, JX Concealer and she uses it in all her makeup tutorials and I managed to find them on uh, Shopee so I decided to get one and try it out uh, For the concealer itself, the pricing if I'm not wrong is about 20 odd dollars 20 odd sing dollars So this is how the packaging looks like So they have like the lightest shade to a medium shade to probably the darkest shade Okay so previously I have already color correct my dark eye circles and also some of my acne marks and scarring so right now, I'm just going to go into this uh, lightest shade first to kind of brighten up my under eye area So here I'm using my concealer brush Oh, it's actually rather quite creamy So I'm just going to place the shade here Oh, it's actually looking quite thick and creamy I think I probably got too much on my brush so I'm just going to clean off my brush a little bit okay, Now I'm just going to blend out the concealer Coverage is actually quite thick But I think I should be able to blend this out Because previously when I watched Pony tutorials um, She did mention that the coverage for this concealer is really thick Which I tend to forget But so far it's actually quite blendable 
it's not like extremely thick that is you know um very difficult to blend out okay so this is how it looks like uh from the screen it does look quite bright so i'm just using the sponge to tap it in a little bit more i think i probably apply way too much okay i'm not sure whether really this is looking be much better but um so far i feel that it's actually quite good um, although it's actually quite thick in terms of the texture but I don't sense or feel any kind of a very heavy kind of a greasy feeling on my under eye area and it's actually blending into the skin quite easily okay so now that I've brightened up the under eye area I'm just going to go into this uh, natural beige which is like a medium shade and I'm going to use this to uh, officially conceal my dark eye circles so I'm just going to take a little bit <laughs> I've learned my lesson so I'm just going to place this underneath my dark circles okay so this is one side done with the full uh, concealing of the dark eye circles and this side is without the concealing yet um, so far I can't really tell much of a huge difference but I can only say that the dark eye circles on my left side somewhat seems to be slightly lighter a little bit compared to the other uh, other side or maybe my dark eye circles is just simply too serious, too dark but I think so far it's actually looking quite okay yeah so I'm just going to do the same for the other side as well I'm not sure whether this concealer crease easily under the eye area uh, I'll probably have to wait for like a uh, few hours to try this out So my foundation and concealer has been completed So now I'm just going to quickly set my entire face with a makeup setting spray And over here I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray And this is actually my first time using their setting spray um, Previously I was quite hesitant to get their setting spray is because I have read some reviews and also some of my friends have told me that their setting spray has this particular particular weird smell or scent that not everyone might be able to accept uh, previously I was using the MAC setting spray but what I didn't like about MAC was the um, pump head itself and the pump head was actually not very user friendly so I decided to uh, move on to try out other brands so that's why I decided to try out the Urban Decay setting spray Yeah, I can totally smell the weird scent uh, the moment I spray this on my face. Moving on to the eye makeup, I'm going to be using the eyeshadow brushes from both the makeup brush set. And earlier on, I forgot to mention that I also got some uh, makeup brushes from the brand Essence. So recently, Essence came out with this um, new brushes and also some of their new um, makeup products, which I didn't manage to get all. Um, so this is the makeup brush from Essence and it's actually quite a shame that they do not come in a makeup brush set um, they do sell these brushes individually so you have to get every single one of them if you want the entire set uh, I decided to get three of the brushes to try them out first so over here I got their eyeshadow blender brush and also their eyeshadow shader and this is their precise face brush which I presume should be okay for loose powder or even probably blusher so for today eye makeup I'm going to be using the Essence uh, new eyeshadow palette this is their Konnichiwa Tokyo eyeshadow palette in number 11 uh, for their, this particular eyeshadow range I previously do have some of the other shades which I feel that is actually quite nice and for this time around they decided to use the Vibrant City Life of Tokyo as their front cover which is looking really vibrant and very colorful they do have a uh, baby blue over here which, and they also have two pink shades and also some neutral tones and brown shades so for today i'm going to try create a very pinkish brown kind of eye makeup hopefully i'll be able to succeed in doing that first of all i'm going to be using the essence blender brush i'm going to go in with this matte pink shade over here and I'm just going to blend this shade over my entire eyelid The crystal of this brush is feeling very soft It's 
so far it feels very comfortable on my skin, doesn't prick my eyes. Using this brush from Perfect Diary, which is like a small shader brush, I'm going to use the same shade for my under eye area. Bristol of this brush is very soft as well. It doesn't sting or prick my eyes, which is really good. And so far, it's actually picking up the color and blending it quite well. Okay, so the first shade is now done. Next, I'm just going to go in with this shimmer pink shade over here. And here, I'm using the uh, shader brush, slightly bigger one from Perfect Diary as well. So I'm just going to place this at the end of my eye area and blend forward. The color is not looking too contrasting. Uh, I can't see much of a color difference other than some shimmery kind of a texture, which I think is um, it's quite pretty. So using back this same shader brush from Perfect Diary, I'm going to do the same thing for my under eye area. This is the second shade done. Uh, now that I'm looking at it from slightly further away, I feel that it's actually looking quite okay. I guess the texture of the eyeshadow palette is quite okay. It's quite buildable and blendable. Uh, I've used their previous other palettes before and this range is actually quite okay. So far it never fails to disappoint me. Yeah, and the shimmer of this second pink color is actually looking quite nice on the eyes. Next, I'm just going to highlight my inner corners and for that, I'm using this uh, small round brush from the makeup brush set that I got from Shopee. I don't remember their uh, particular brand name or rather do they have one. But and I'm just going to go in with this color over here. It looks like a very nice beige uh, champagne gold color. Oh, this shade is very shimmery and very glittery. So I think a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to place a little bit more uh, underneath my eye area. Okay, I'm not sure whether you guys can tell the shade. I think probably not. Yeah, but it's looking very glittery and very shimmery. The bristles for this particular uh, brush is actually quite soft as well. And it's actually picking up the eyeshadow powder quite well and quite easily. Okay, so my inner corner and under eye area highlight are all done. I'm going to move on to the eyeliner before I come back to this eyeshadow palette. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Cleo Kill Brown Waterproof Brush Liner. So for this particular set, it actually comes with a mini size of a lip and eye remover, which I have not tried before. So this is how the brush liner looks like. And this is the brush head. So first, I'm just going to mark out the position of my wing. Uh, how slanted I want it to be and how long do I want it to be. So once I mark out the position of my wing, I'm just going to continue drawing uh, the eyeliner. quite liking this brush liner. Um, I feel that it glides on very well and very smoothly and the consistency of the liquid is actually quite good. Uh, it doesn't feel very cakey when you are drawing the liner halfway. Okay, so the eyeliner is now done and moving back to the eyeshadow palette over here. I'm going to be using a small shader brush and I'm going to go in in the darkest shade over here which is this dark brown shade and I'm just going to Soften my eyeliner using this eyeshadow. Okay, so next, I'm just going to use back my own uh, small shader brush, and I'm just going to use the same dark brown shade and do it for my under eye area. So the eyeshadow is now finally completed. I don't have any new mascara with me. So I'm just going to put on some false lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have put on some false lashes. 
Uh, so far, the foundation is looking quite okay on my skin. Uh, it tends to oxidize a little bit, but not to the extent of very, very dark. Okay, so next I'm going to move on to the eyebrows. And for the eyebrows, today I'm going to be using this um, brow kit from Anastasia. So it comes with a, a eyebrow pencil and also a clear brow gel. And this is in the shade soft brown. So I'm going to stick to my usual brow routine. And first of all, I'm going to go in with eyebrow powder. And for that, I'm using the Benefit Bronzing. So I'm just using this eyebrow powder over here to use this to define my eyebrow shape. I'm just going to use the pencil from this value set. The eyebrows are now done and next I'm just going to go in with the clear brow gel to set my eyebrows. This is my first time using the clear brow gel. So I'm not sure whether does it really hold the eyebrow in place properly and this is how the brush head looks like uh, It's actually looking quite big Something like a mascara wand but um, Nevertheless, we shall try this and see how it goes I would prefer something with a slightly smaller brush um, Because for me, I have very fine and very little brow hair uh, Something smaller might be easier for me to really brush out all the hair very weird kind of smell coming from this brow gel uh, which I'm not sure whether it's a good thing but, uh, but so far I think it's actually holding my brow hair quite okay uh, except for the fact that the wand is quite big so if you have very bushy and very thick brow hair I think the size of this wand might work for you Okay, so the eyebrows and eye makeup is now finally completed and next I'm just going to quickly set my entire face with some loose powder and for loose powder, I don't have any new ones so I'm just going to use back my Perfect Diary Translucent Loose Powder to set my entire face so for that, I'm going to be using the Precise Face Brush from Essence Moving on to contour, I'm going to be using the Peri Para V Shading Palette and this is in the shade 01 So they actually have a total of two shades, 01 and 02 I decided to try 01 because I think it's actually uh, looking slightly lighter compared to 02 For Peri Para Contour Palette, is something that I have always been wanting to try previously um, but I just didn't really get the chance to go shop around so it comes from a lighter shade to slightly medium and to a slightly darker uh, contour shade So first of all, I'm going to use the contour brush from the Perfect Diary Makeup Brush Set And I'm just going to go for the center shade over here to contour my cheekbones and my jawline Oh, I like this color. It's very natural looking. It's not too yellowish, but it's not too grayish either. I've seen many other YouTubers using and reviewing about this uh, shading palette. And today I finally got the chance to try this out. And so far, I think I'm really quite liking this palette. And especially this middle shade over here. The color is very easy to blend and it's buildable. For my nose contour, I'm going to use this um, blender brush from Perfect Diary as well and I'm going to go in with this lighter shade and I'm going to mix a little bit of the center one Okay, so the contour is now done Next for highlight um, I didn't really have any new highlighter with me except for this one um, This is the highlighter from Daiso um, I was browsing in Daiso and then I saw that they have this entire uh, whole makeup collection with this um, Hello Kitty printer on top and it's actually very cute looking so um, I decided to get this to try out It's just $2 anyway Yeah, so this is their Blooming Kitty powder and I think this is in the shade, or oh, this is in the shade 01 uh, I'm not sure whether does all Daiso in Singapore have this but I managed to find this at the Daiso near my house 
So if you guys are a fan of Hello Kitty like me, uh, you can go to Daiso to look for this um, for their makeup range. Wow, this is really very cute looking. Uh, initially, I thought it's only the paper packaging has this um, Hello Kitty design, but the uh, product itself is also with a very cute Hello Kitty design. Okay, so this is how the shade looks like. Let me feel the texture first. Oh, oh, the the powder is very very smooth and very fine. I'm going to use the highlight fan brush from the Shopee makeup brush set over here. Oh, okay. Um, I think maybe I apply too much again. Um. And the brush is not blending it out properly uh, I'm not sure whether you guys can see the glow of this highlighter This is really very amazing This just cost $2 uh, The effect that I get is something like this Yeah But then again, looking closely in the mirror I think the shimmer are actually looking a little bit too chunky and too big uh, From far and from the screen, of course, it looks very shimmery and very dewy but once you look close up in the mirror, you can see that the shimmer bits are actually quite uh, quite big. They are kind of like, you know, settling onto my pores. The other side, I'm just going to go in with lesser amount. Ah, once you go in with lesser amount, the shimmer bits is actually looking quite okay. Not too obvious on the skin and onto the pores. I'm not sure whether it's because of the highlight powder or is it because of this brush. Okay, why not I try out using the one from Perfect Diary Also in a fan brush like this Let's just see how it goes Okay, maybe not this way but something like this Okay, but it's looking a little bit too clumpy over here So I'm guessing it's most likely because of the powder itself, not the brush Oh my god, my forehead is looking so so glowy and dewy in the screen. Yeah, I think it's because of this highlighter. It's, it's way too much, way too shimmery. <laughs> my forehead is looking so dewy and so glowy. I really can't stand it. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, put some loose powder over it. Is it going to help? Is it helping a little bit? Oh gosh. Um... Okay, I think it's helping slightly a little bit. At least my forehead is not looking too dewy and glowy at the moment. Is it looking much better? Okay, I think it's looking slightly better than before. And my forehead is not so uh, dewy and glowy. Okay, I think we are more or less done with the highlighter. Okay, so next moving on to blusher. Uh, I don't really have any new blusher with me except for this one uh, This is the L'Oreal blusher I have never tried L'Oreal blusher before So this is actually like my first time using it And this is in the shade 09 Be Unique So this is how the packaging looks like In a very sleek uh, black casing And once you open up, they actually have a decent mirror inside which I think is great which is actually quite convenient for touching up and over here they have the uh, very small uh, blusher brush so this is how the shade looks like nudish pink kind of color let me try out the texture first it's feeling a little bit rough uh, let me see how the color goes maybe over here Oh, this is something that is subtle But I don't think the texture is a matte texture uh, Nevertheless, we are going to try out this blusher today I hope it's not going to look too pink on my face Because I have already uh, quite pinkish eyeshadow going on Okay, I'm just going to use back this um, precise face brush from Essence Oh, okay, the shade is adhering to the bristle quite well there's a lot of powder falling out from the color itself Tapping off the excess Gosh, I hope this color works Um, The color is very very sheer 
Maybe I should have done the blusher first instead of the highlighter, right? Anyway, I think it's a bit too late for that. I think there's some color coming out. I'm not sure whether you guys can see that, but there's like a slight hint of pinkish shade over here. It's not as pinkish as I thought it would be. And the color is definitely buildable. Yeah, the color is starting to come out very slowly. Well, I think this is quite a nice subtle pink shade. It's not looking too awkward together with my eye makeup. The only sad thing about this blusher is that the powder is really flying all over the casing uh, which is making it very uh, messy and untidy. The blusher is now finally completed and last but not least uh, is the lipstick. Again, I don't really have any new lip product with me so the only latest lip product that I have with me is the um, Actual House and Hershey Kiss collaboration lipstick and this is their chocolate mousse tint the shade milk chocolate yeah so they previously collaborated together and I think it was around probably February or March that they launched this and until now I still haven't used this yet and this is how the packaging looks like okay probably let me try out the shade for you guys first Oh, this is actually quite pretty looking. So this is how the color looks like. Uh, I can't exactly tell what shade is this. But pinkish coral. It's not exactly very pinkish, but it's not very orangey either. It's actually quite a uh, soft, velvety, matte kind of texture. So you can definitely build up the intensity of the color. Okay, so this is the lip color and how it looks like. Uh, it's looking quite vibrant on the screen, but from what I see in the mirror, it's actually slightly more subtle. It's not too bright looking. It's quite close to my natural lip color. Okay, so anyway, this is the entire whole makeup look finally completed. I'm going to quickly fix my hair and tidy up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so far, most of the products that I've used today, um, I feel that it's quite okay. So far, I do quite like it. Except probably for this um, highlighter from Daiso. Uh, although it's in a very nice and cute packaging of Hello Kitty, but the shimmer and the glitter bits are a little bit too uh, chunky looking on my skin, especially when I accidentally apply a little bit more. Uh, it's a bit difficult to blend it out and it's actually settling onto my lines and pores and making it even more obvious but then again this is just two dollars so i cannot ask for more next i think would be probably the foundation uh it says it's a full coverage foundation and oh by the way it comes with a spf of 20 which i think is great but in terms of the coverage wise uh I feel that this is definitely not full coverage. This is somewhere between light to slightly medium coverage. So you definitely have to build up the layers again uh, bit by bit to get the kind of coverage that you want. Uh, it says it contains hyaluronic acid. So I'm guessing this is also more suitable for people with dry skin or dry combination skin. So for me, I'm oily combination. Uh, I'm not sure whether will this last long on my skin. I have to test it out for at least one whole day before I can give you guys my feedback on this one. I think that should be about it. Uh, I think more or less we are quite okay. So far for the contour uh, palette, I quite like it. And also the L'Oreal blusher which it actually surprised me a lot because I didn't expect that the shade would be so nice and natural looking. Uh, the only sad thing is it's actually looking quite messy in the casing you know with the powder flying all over so you might want to be slightly careful but other than that the shade looks very nice and pretty very subtle yeah i think that's about it for today actually i quite like most of the products except for the few ones that i mentioned earlier okay that's it for today thank you so much for watching do give this video a little thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of my daily life updates do follow me on my instagram account over here once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye